Ladies and gentlemen, in the ring from Balmain in Sydney, weighing in at 16 stone, 8 pounds, George Barnes. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota at 17 stone, 5 pounds, Dennis Stamp. In the centre ring. George Barnes, a very rugged individual as well, but what a great wrestler Dennis Stamp is. Well, I'm afraid that George Barnes is in trouble as his AM dragged heavily to canvas by Dennis Stamp. I was under the impression that we were going to see Parisi against Barnes, but uh, this will soon test Dennis Stamp out. George Barnes is one of the best wrestlers in Australia. Of the local boys, a very great wrestler indeed. There was a hammerlock applied by Dennis Stamp on George Barnes. And being dragged right up the middle of his back. Hammerlock still applied by Dennis Stamp. Dennis Stamp. As I mentioned to you, an all-American football star and wrestling star, 26 years of age, a great wrestler. Oh, goes for an arm drag with the shoulders at Barnes had collided. And Dennis wasn't in a position then to get as he put it on to George Barnes then and sent Barnes flying to canvas. Short arm bar by Dennis. Stands up to a wrist lock, standing wrist lock. Pulling that arm of George Barnes well down onto canvas. He's a strong looking fellow, this Dennis. Big thighs. Drops down heavily on George Barnes. Barnes hitting the deck, a stamp flies down. Through the wrist lock, Dennis has gone into the thing and he's stuck into it. Emma no. Lock, and Stamp, Dennis Stamp with that arm of George is going right up. Another team I mentioned to you, the team of Samoans, the two big Samoan gentlemen coming here to wrestle in tag championships. canvas as Dennis backs away. Dennis Stamp, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 17 stone, 5 pounds, over the top, pushed away. This lock from Dennis Stamp, over go, goes on George Barnes, twisting that arm right over. Oh, leg trip there from Barnes, stamp to his feet. Barnes in trouble as that arm has been almost sent numb from the pressure applied. Nice reversal by Barnes against reverse by Dennis Stamp and uh, Barnes is sent flying to canvas. And down he comes heavily across the forearm of George Barnes. Barnes trying to push Dennis Stamp to the corner, but Stamp puts himself straight back in centre ring, comes up with a hammerlock on George Barnes. 
Maximin Barnes sends Dennis flying into the turnbuckle using the weight of his own body as he, Dennis went heavily into the turnbuckle. Kick the midsection right in deep on Dennis Stamp. Here's Barnes back again. Irish Whitman sends that into the turnbuckle. He comes reeling from the turnbuckle, Dennis. the middle of back heavily down again over the top comes George Barnes pulling at the hair pushes the referee Wallaby Bob right out of the way oh again Barnes comes down heavily on the back of Dennis Stamp off the ropes and oh a knee lift from Barnes and Stamp hits the deck the old Balmain boy and George Barnes, the Tigers are on the warpath here. Oh, slammed by George Barnes and almost wrecked the ring there as Dennis Stamp heavily, heavily hits the canvas. Irish whip, Barnes and Dennis into the turnbuckle. His back of his is taking a pounding. going up the ropes and comes down as well. Dennis rolls out of the way and Barnes heavily right on his own knees. Oh, and Dennis kicks in there behind the thigh. Double-handed slams across the back of George Barnes. Stamp wearing down George Barnes. George almost crippled flying from those ropes on his kneecaps. Irish whip from Dennis over and up and over goes George Barnes. Oh, heavily. He's come down a few metres then and comes in again with a forearm jolt. Takes him over and feels him straight across the ring. Up he goes for a drop kick, sending Barnes flying. This boy really flies as Dennis Stamp. He's full of activity. Takes him up and spins the aeroplane spin and look at him go round and round and round. It's like a DC-3 there as those props turn. Victory for Dennis Stamp over a very rugged opponent, a great wrestler in George Barnes. The aeroplane spin of Dennis Stamp. Well, it's a great victory, uh, Dennis. Congratulations. He's one of the strongest local boys we have here, but it's the aeroplane spin of yours. Rather than talking about the aeroplane spin, a bit of your background. I mean, we didn't get a chance last time I spoke to you about it. Your football well, background. I'm uh, pretty new. Catch my breath. Fairly new here in Australia. I've only been here a few weeks. And I really love it. It's really a challenge to me. There are some of the best wrestlers in the world right here in Australia. Uh, well, I, I haven't mentioned football to you while you are getting your breath because it's a pretty uh, rugged match you had there with George Barnes. I mentioned it for the simple reason our football season here is due to start in about another month. The boys start training and uh, and you coming over here as a footballer, the background I have on you, I thought you'll get an opportunity to seeing ours. It's not quite like yours. It's really a true professional game. Ours is a slightly well, different, but pretty rugged. For you to be associating with your game indicates you're a pretty that, regular person. Well, I've studied all the sports, and I'm a physical education major. I have a degree in that, college degree, and I feel that I'm the best prepared for professional wrestling. It entails so many different sports, you have the collision of football. I was fortunate enough to be an All-American football player in college, as well as a national collegiate wrestling champion, that's amateur wrestling. Mm -hmm. And studying physical education the way I have, uh, the different movements of the body and the parts and the organs and everything, I feel that I have just a very well-rounded background into professional wrestling. It takes in all these things. There's an awful lot of collision in the ring two men, 250 pounds plus, mm -hmm. running into each other, and I have a, feel like I have a great ability to take a lot of punishment and still be able to come back. I, this man I just wrestled, he's a very formidable opponent, and he had me at one point, he had me down pretty far. Well, a lot of men I think he might have beaten. I just had enough left, he made one mistake, I came back, I got a little break there, I came back, I was able to get him in the airplane spin, and if I can get a man in the airplane spin, I can beat him. That's right. For any man I feel that I can get in the airplane spin, I can beat. I can come out on top. 
I enjoy being in Australia very much. I plan on taking on all comers, and uh, I may do some. So I plan to wrestle as a single, and I've got a tag team partner that I've been working with quite a bit, and uh, he and I are going to be wrestling for some tag team titles too. And and uh, I just plan on a real successful stay here in well, Australia. Well, we saw you with Mario Milano, and uh, you formed a great team there. And talking about your your background in the anatomy and all the brain structure, everything. That aeroplane spin certainly takes the mental approach wide away from their opponents. Doesn't matter how well educated they might be physically, as far as wrestling every concern. Once their mind starts spinning the, the speed that you spin them around, when they hit the deck, they're just well, anyone's a, cup of tea. Then, of course, it's a combination of two things. By spinning them, I get them a little dizzy, and then that big slam, it kind of knocks the wind out of them, and I'm able to hold them down for a count of three, and some men take a longer time than that to get up, believe me. Well, I'll say this, Dennis, you not only get them dizzy, but you get us dizzy watching you, and it's a credit to you, a pleasure Thank to have you, you here, much. and we look forward nice to seeing to you in a lot of great matches, Thank Dennis. You very much. Describe my style, I was a wrestling heel. If you know what a heel is, a heel is, you know, like a bad guy in wrestling, you know, like he's, he's sort of, um, he does a lot of dirty things, but, you know, like, uh, which I did anyway. I was always, you know, like sneaking behind the rest back and doing anything I could to win. But I did a lot of wrestling. A lot of my wrestling was involved in it, and I sort of like blended the two together, so to speak, to try and get the best result that I could. And I think it paid dividends. I, I you know, I really liked that style.